This formulation is specifically designed to defend dyed hair from the diminishing effects of ultraviolet light and environmental stressors. We may use many tools in formulating an oil sheen of this caliber, but let's keep it light and shiny with a mixed ester base. Enough talk, let's get our shine on and make this thing. We're starting this system with a light oil base beginning with neopentylene glycol, the heptanoid from OQ Chemicals. This ultralight ester comes close to capturing the sensorial effect of the cyclomethicone and ultralight mineral oil we so often use in these hair sheens before. However, esters such as these don't add the occlusive effect the petroleum and silicone vehicles did, and they wash off the hair so much easier, avoiding buildup. Adding this base as our own 3V Sigma esters, Sensoderm DIM and Sensoderm PDG. Our two esters are doing triple duty here. They convey more substantial film forming than neopendylene ester would do alone. Sensitum is apply a key attribute for an effective oil sheen. Form a porous film around the cuticle, defending it from damage by agents in the environment and from styling tools. These diesters have a soft dry touch and high boiling points, much higher than the styling iron or blow dryer temperature, so no smoke. The two sensitums also add significant shine to the hair while atomizing well in a Euromist sprayer. Finally, both are good solvents for UV absorbers, including the best one, our own UVsorb HEV. Adding to our formula is the most important element of our color defense strategy. UVsorb HEV from 3V Sigma USA is known around the world in sunscreen formulations as Iscatriazinol. Chemically diethyl hexyl butamide triazone. Unfortunately, our own FDA never approved its use in SPF products here in the USA. A story for another day. Here we are using it to protect not skin from UV exposure, but hair and decomposition of the amino and azo based hair artificial colorants that are absorbed into it. UV radiation exposure accelerates the color fading decomposition of hair dyes more than any other factor. This leads to fading, but first to undertones that make the hair color grayish and weird. UV also breaks down the keratin comprising hair morphology, causing those split ends from cuticle damage that we see all the time from beach colors. Now, UVsorb HEV has a high molar extinction coefficient in the near UVB range and absorbs energy at wavelengths from 260 to 330 nanometers. This is the effective range for nearly all organic hair colorants. This affords excellent protection of both the hair color and the hair. Now that one of our hair oil ingredients is dissolved, time to empower this oil sheen with even more renewable hair oil ingredients. First to add is a novel film former, the all natural organic copolymer Glossomer L6600 from Coast Southwest. The origin of this polymer lies in lipids extracted from the wild turnip and the tongue tree. Glossomer was first introduced 30 years ago, but was perhaps overlooked until Coast Southwest remarketed it recently. You might say that Glossomer L6600 was natural before natural was cool. As its name suggests, Glossomer adds substantial shine and gloss to the cuticles without creating an obtrusive film like heavier oils would. Glossomer L6600 also conveys tone back in the hair. Gloss is a direct means of highlighting. Moisture retention and wear resistance round out the hair defense contributions and it atomizes in a spray format which most polymers don't. Now we're not done yet. Didn't think we were going to stop there and call it a day, did you? Keeping green will add a fair amount of daikon radish seed extract from natural plant products. This unique renewable oil has a silky, silicone-like hair sensation, but is vegetable-derived and totally miscible with this oil-based formula. Again, we use renewable components such as this to update a product that has long acceptance in the multicultural hair care market. Next up is a small amount of castor oil, a legacy ingredient of sorts, and a renewable one at that. In the earliest versions of oil sheen sprays back in the 1970s, castor oil and sulfated castor oil were mainstays of the formulation. But it can be too heavy a sensorial contributor, though hard to beat for shine. And we're keeping this light. So here we're adding it more as an homage to the hair care past. Call it a historical additive, if you will, although black castor oil from the Caribbean has given this ingredient a hair care market comeback lately. Rounding out our lipids, we're adding moringa, cockadoo, and macadamia oils. Seed oils originating from India, Australia, and the Mediterranean, respectively. All three are high in linoleic acid, the best lipid for hair care, as these penetrate into the cortex to control the frizzes and frazzles. By this action, these high linoleic oils contribute strength to the hair. 
Finishing up with a cocktail of fragrance and triethyl citrate. Triethyl citrate is a fixative that extends the minimal amount of fragrance throughout the application. We're targeting into that salad bowl odor that 100% oil-based products will incur. Final product, a free-flowing translucent oil that readily atomizes with a fine mist sprayer. The overall sensorial effect is one of softness, not oiliness. The heavy work of defending your hair from color fade and photo damage is done by UVSORB HEB and the natural source of oils and esters. Of course, the visible sheen highlights are highlights the color within. This is a frequent use product that will not build upon shampooing. Well, that's all until next time. Meanwhile, treat your hair with a clean sheen that will behave itself in turn. Thanks for watching.